Hi guys! So today I am 24 weeks and 5 days and that is, uh, it's an exciting week because at this point uh, the baby is considered viable so if I was to go into labor today with advanced medical treatment he'd most likely be able to survive so that's pretty exciting. Um, I don't look very good today and I don't seem pretty exciting today. Um, it's not been a very, very good day. So, yeah. <laughs> I woke up around 4 in the morning and I've been doing this thing where I, I think it's acid reflux. That's the only thing I can gather that when I've researched it, it's uh, acid reflux. But I will vomit in my sleep and I'll wake up because there's vomit in my mouth. So I'll sit up and I'll start choking on it. And it's getting really annoying. And I did that all night last night. And around four in the morning, I got choked so bad. I went to the bathroom and I forced myself to throw everything up. And I have splotches all over my face. Um, I was up since then. I wasn't able to go back to bed. Uh, and on top of that, I had to get up this morning to go, uh, to a police station, well, like a courthouse in a different town 30 minutes away because last week, last Wednesday, I got pulled over, um, because I had expired license plates, apparently. I didn't, I wasn't aware of it. So he gave me a ticket and he said, as long as I get it paid, or as long as I get my license plates renewed within five days, then um, he would void the ticket and I wouldn't have to pay the ticket. They also scheduled me a court date for December 18th. It's just crazy. Like, I've never had any driving issues before and it was just one of those things that I just completely forgot to renew my plates. So anyways, after going all the way down there to show proof that I have them renewed within the five days so I don't have to pay the ticket, they tell me, <clears throat> they tell me that I didn't have enough proof um, because I had the receipt from the BMV and that they need something from the BMV that has, you know, the year make model of the car um, with, um, information that also matches the ticket that I have. So, they sent me away, so I wasted gas money and wasted my time feeling like crap this morning driving all the way down there. And, um, so they did tell me that my husband could fax that information to them from his office, so he went ahead and did that, and when I called them, they said if I did that, then it would be you know, they would clear it, it would be fine. So I called them to make sure they got the facts. They did get the facts. However, when they looked me up in their system, I never received a ticket. So I have this paper that says ticket, and the officer who gave it to me said, I'm, I'm giving you a ticket because, you know, your plates are expired, but if you get it renewed within five business days, then it'll void out. So after doing all that, and wasting my time and driving down and worrying, worrying, because Thanksgiving was last week. So five days was kind of, you know, hard to get all this done because it happened on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. And people usually take off, um, people usually take off, uh, Thursday and Friday and have a four day weekend after Thanksgiving. So anyways, I was worried to death, and then it comes to show up that the officer didn't even file my ticket. So I'm kind of really okay. mad right now. Yeah, I'm pretty okay. upset. Um, and my phone's going off, so don't mind that. Anyways, so that all happened last week when I went to my 24-week uh, checkup. Because so I turned 24 weeks last Wednesday. Went to my checkup. My blood pressure was elevated. It was like... 130 over 90 and my blood pressure is usually um like 100 over 60 
my blood pressure has always been really low. So I was like, even though that I, I know since I do healthcare, I know that it's still in the normal range, not to necessarily worry until you're 140, like 140 over 95 or 140 over 100 or whatever. Um, for me, that's high blood pressure. So I, I was kind of worried about that. And she said it was probably just because I just got pulled over. So I had nerves. And surprisingly, I really did take getting pulled over well. But anyways, um, other than that, everything's going well. I've gained 22 pounds and I can feel it. Um, I asked them if it was fine. My weight gain was fine. And she said um, they would like me to gain 35 pounds. So I'm in the normal range right now. Um, so, and yeah, that uh, checkup went pretty well. Everything for the most part is going really well. Um, I've been having a lot of like, I guess, I've been really hormonal, I guess you can say. Like, people have been getting to me more so with their words than what they normally would. Um, and my heartburn and indigestion have, it's been getting a lot worse. So, like, vomiting in the middle of the night and stuff. Which I'm thinking that's acid reflux. I've called my doctor's office this morning to ask them if there's any helpful t uh, hit tips they can give me on how to deal with it or if there's any medicine that I should be on because obviously we don't want me to choke and aspirate in the middle of the night. That would be bad. Um, they haven't called me back yet so we'll see. Uh, my belly's <laughs> gotten way bigger. He's gone through a little growth spurt. The doctor actually said um, by feeling around my tummy and doing her measurements she was uh, estimating that he was about two pounds and about 13 and a half inches. So I have a pretty big baby if her estimate is correct. Um, so, <clears throat> and I, yeah, as you can tell, I'm just not in the best of the mood, but I wanted to get an update up for you guys. And I have some baby buys that I want to share with you. I did get registered at Bye Bye Baby and Babies R Us over the weekend and that was a lot of fun and yeah um, okay so I guess I'll show you that uh, so Travis and I are going to try cloth diapering or I'm going to try cloth diapering he's not so happy about that but um, I would like to try it I already had two cloth diapers I have two pre-folds um, so while I was at I think I got these at Babies R Us. Or was it Bye Bye Baby? If these were at Babies R Us, I think. This is a, a cloth diaper brand that I've never heard of before. And they're they're really, really cute. Um, it's called... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Cocalo? 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 Perfect Bum? Maybe that's how it's pronounced. Anyways, this is what it looks like. This is a little denim one. It has little pockets on the back. It's really cute. This is size medium, I think. They don't have one size fits all in this brand. Yeah, this is size medium. Um, fits 12 to 20 pounds. And these are really neat. I've never seen a cloth diaper like this because you can, it comes with the inserts of course, like this. But it also has disposable inserts that you can put in it. So whether you want to cloth diaper or you want a half cloth diaper, they have packages of disposable inserts, which look like, they look like this. They look like huge maternity pads is what they look like. So yeah, so the inside of it, looks like this. I haven't done any, I haven't seen any reviews on these. I haven't really looked to be honest, but, um, they were on sale for $10, these pre packed these little ones. So I had to get some to try them out at least, but yeah, it's just this, this plastic thing inside and you just put the 
insert in there or you can put a uh, disposable insert. So cool. And this is the other one I got. And I think this is a medium too. They are Velcro, which, you know, I'm, I'm more of a fan of the snaps, but I couldn't beat the price with these. And I think they're really neat because you can put disposable um, inserts in them if you wanted to do disposable. So I've never seen like a like a cloth diaper like this that you can you can make cloth diaper or you can make disposable. Pretty neat. Um, my friend Whitney bought this little owl toy. So I thought that was pretty neat. And for the other ones of you who haven't seen, these are my other cloth diapers. They're uh, one size fits all. This is Bum Genius, and this is Ludus Bums. So I have a variety of different cloth diapers right now. And this is the stuff that you get for when you register. They give you a gift baggie. I took it out of the baggie and just put it in one of these. Um, here's a diaper with wipes. I got a couple uh, nursing pads. So I have a couple of these from my doctor's office in my room too. So that's neat to have. They put a onesie in there. Just a regular onesie, long sleeve. Here is a Medell uh, breast milk labeling lid. Pretty neat. A passy. And I got a bunch of just little samples. I got like a sample of baby lotion. I got boogie wipes. Oh, there it goes. I got this little toy. <laughs> and let's see. This is some sort of lotion. It's a sample of lotion. And then there's a sample of tummy rub, which, what, what's that going to do me? Not much of anything. I wish my tummy looked like her tummy. Anyways, that's all. That's all I've got. Boring update, but at least it's on here. <laughs> So, and I guess I'll show you guys my belly. Come here, belly. I don't think I've ever showed you my cat. This is my cat. She's pretty. Yeah, you are. She almost knocked down the tree today. Okay. So, here it is. My 24-week belly. Almost 25-week. He is measure, measuring ahead, and as of last Wednesday, they were saying he was about 2 pounds and 13 and a half inches. So, yeah, big baby boy. Um, and not much has changed with the belly button. I mean, it's... Pretty poked out for the most part. Not much left in there to poke out. Here is the stretch mark I have. And the side stretch marks. And on the other side, which is a lot worse. <sighs> okay, so that's about it. And I will try to update again shortly, guys. So, sorry I wasn't in the best of a mood. Not feeling well. Um, my self-confidence is not very high right now because just I feel fat <laughs> and I feel miserable. But, uh... I guess it's a day-by-day day thing. So, 
Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.